New details on a DCF investigator placed on administrative leave after being accused of sexual misconduct with a foster child. Tonight, CBS4 News has learned the Child Protection Agency is helping Miami-Dade police investigate him a day after he was allegedly linked to a teenager caught up in what prosecutors call a foster care prostitution ring. As we first told you last night, four men were arrested this week accused of running that ring. CBS4 Summer Knowles has the latest in the investigation. Well, CBS4 just obtained a copy of the search warrant issued for Jean LaCroix's work cell phone. It gives police access to his call history, his text messages, and any other communication he may have had with the alleged victim. A search warrant for DCF child abuse investigator Jean LaCroix's work cell phone issued on May 28th indicates that a 17-year-old girl in foster care admitted to Miami-Dade police she engaged in consensual sexual intercourse on numerous occasions with her DCF caseworker, John LaCroix. It further states while in school, she would call or text the subject, and the subject would arrange to pick her up from school and take her to his residence where they would engage in consensual sexual intercourse. We stopped by LaCroix's last known address for a response to the allegations, but John Clayville answered the door instead. He told us LaCroix used to live there with him, but has since moved. Here's what he had to say about the allegations against his friend. Girlfriend. He was an excellent man. Excellent. Uh -huh. I must believe that. You don't believe it? Jean Lacroix? Clayville says he just saw LaCroix at church a few weeks ago after he tried contacting him on his work cell phone. And he told me they don't want him to use the phone. The company don't want to use the phone no more. The company does not want him to use the phone the anymore? The phone. That phone, yeah. Did he tell you why? The company did not want him to no, use the phone? No. According to the search warrant, LaCroix's casework involving the alleged victim began in September of 2011, ended in October, but that the two stayed in touch on his personal cell phone even after LaCroix was instructed not to by his supervisor. He was placed on administrative leave on May 7th. DCF Secretary David E. Wilkins has since released this statement. This alleged behavior is absolutely appalling and betrays the trust and confidence that all Floridians have in our department's employees. Mr. LaCroix's actions in no way reflect the expectations that we and all Floridians have for our investigators or any of our employees. Summer Knowles, CBS4 News.